So, if you haven't heard already, um, which you probably have, it's been put in effect for more than a year. Um, there is by May 3rd of 2023, you will need to have a real ID, not a fake one, a real one. Okay, I got confused with that. I went today, I have a story I'll tell in a little bit. Um, so they're calling it a real ID. Okay. Before you had a driver's license and ID, unless you need to get an updated one, um, the new one's just saying it's real now. I guess it wasn't before. Just kidding. They probably could have spun a different name. Um, so, due to 9 11, uh, 9 11 real ID is technically the whole. Okay. Everyone will remember that time. It was very traumatizing, very sad for the U.S., for the world to go through. And no poking fun at that, all aside, this is where I'm confused. Um, as I, I'll tell the story when I was there getting in just an updated ID, um, I was expiring. He said, you just need a driver's license, you need a real ID. And just threw me off. And I was like, uh, I thought I had a real ID already. No. Okay. So, in his words as well, when I questioned it, because I don't think there's any really dumb question, I said, I thought I had one. What do you mean by a real ID? And he said, a real ID. So, I'll explain. Since 9-11, do you remember 9-11? Yes, we all do. He said, since then, it's taken them 20 years. And this is the guy at the, um, the bureau, like the actual license. Oh, my gosh. And he said, this is this is what we're doing. It's a special ID. It's a new ID that you know you have to go through, and it's double the price, by the way, which I don't understand that as well. That's later. We're paying double the money now for a real ID to protect against terrorism. Fine, fine. Everyone has their jobs. Everyone has their way of doing things. I get it. Like I said, I'm not trying to really criticize this too much, but I'm a little bit. I'm I'm really, really interested in what everyone's thoughts are on this. We have almost a year left to do it. Um, I'm really curious what everyone thinks. And is this going to help? I hope it does. I think we've already put some you know, better security and better things in line to protect against anything like that. Um, hopefully ever happening again. Uh, but I, like I said, he said it, it was, I guess, his emphasis on, yes, it took them 20 years but this is what we're doing now. So if you'd like to get your real ID now, you can do that. It's $47. Or you can wait. You have this long. And just get your updated ID. Okay. <clears throat> Point is, and here we go. I don't want to criticize too much. But if this is all that we're doing, I, I, obviously it's not. We have better security. But if this is just another thing put in place is to have just a different ID, um, I really did think prior to this that we had real IDs, and that was a form of identification, a way of saying we are who we are and that we're not going to get on a plane and be a terrorist or do anything of that sort that would put other people's lives in jeopardy. So I guess I'm confused if this is part of security, part of everything else we're doing, that this is like really honed in focus. So there, there has to be, which, you know, like I said, comment below on this, this is all um, kind of coming together, which we have nine months left, and every state, every person will have to have this, quote, real, end quote, ID. Um, and I guess where I'm coming to this is with how many things in the world um, that are still going on, that we're still going through. You see it on the news. You see it everywhere, even on YouTube, uh, social media, everywhere you look. Um, I was doing research on it before, and I mean, overall violent crimes up 12%, murder, manslaughter up 26%, rape up 38%, robbery down, aggravated assault up 29%. Some of that stuff, to be honest with you, if you look here, this is very interesting. Robbery, I looked this down here before, overall property crimes down 33, burglary down 51, license down. Oh, larceny of threat, sorry. Um, all these things are down. Well, if you think about it, what happened in those years? Weren't we all home due to, like, uh, I don't know, a pandemic? 
So all that stuff's down, that's fine, that's good. Um, but the rest of the stuff that you see up, not good. And some of those things could be compared, if you think about it, to um, let's go down the line of what else is going on in the world right now. We're also going through a war, but that's separate. Um, here in the US, there's still you know riots. Um, when certain things aren't being heard, people riot instead. Um, they, they rob and open businesses and break in or um, recent <coughs> uh, story with the, uh, excuse me, the women's rights and abortion, which I don't think those were as, you know, violent, but if you look online, you will see, I mean, there's, there's no point for all that. You should be able to protest um, and stand up for what you believe in or get, have your voice heard but do it um, by your voice appropriately. I think it should be um, even think that January 6th, there's that going on, which, yeah, stand outside and yell all you want, but you don't actually go inside. So it's on both, both um, sides of the spectrum here um, when you go into that aspect, but there's also, I hate this one the most, um, but there's still schools and banks and malls that I it's weekly or monthly or quarterly that we're hearing um, attacks I mean there's stuff on the ground that's happening not just in the sky and people being attacked and I guess yes we've talked about putting um, uh, veterans or people at doors and protecting with guns um, let's we've talked about giving the teachers um, guns themselves, um, arming the teachers, going through training. Um, I guess what I'm saying is if you have all this stuff going on and we, we've, I just, I don't want this to be it. And I'm scared that just whatever we've done to protect against, um, the airlines and having another attack like that, or somebody being actually able to commit, um, such a crime like that, or even the other ones I've list off, um, being able to have those ever happen again, I just don't want them to take 20 years. So like I said, I really am interested in what you guys would think would be better, or if you're happy about just a new real ID, that's, which anything's better than nothing, don't get me wrong, it's double the price by the way, so it's now double the price for us because of something happened, okay. Um, that, a new ID is just the way to go about it and I hope it really just does some kind of crazy designs you can really tell that so you have to get that through here so you have to show and prove yourself got it um, I'm saying is this it so I really want to know if you think just a new ID is all all we can do or do you think we should uh, what ideas we could give and maybe write in and say, I think we should do this on top of it, or what ideas to help against everything else that's going on in the world, because I really, really, really hope that in 20 years, we don't come up with just a special ID on top of training, on top of maybe patrolling, you know, uh, bank schools, malls, places that are also being under attack, you know, women, hello, you can see on here the rates are up. Uh, rape is disgusting um, and I just hope that there wouldn't be just it would take this long um, for things to be uh, I guess paid more attention to or developed an idea of just an ID um, comment down below and let me know your thoughts and ideas on what you would maybe put in place instead of a an ID